Hello, Space Cadets. It is K Meatballs, and yes, we're playing Kerbal Space Program. I love this game. Uh, we are on point 23, which is the science update. That's the one that adds all the weirdness, uh, different ways of doing science, and kind of gets rid of the spammy nature of it. So, yeah, Jeb, we're ready to go. So, let's start a new game. And we're going to start a new one here. Uh, KM plays Kerbal. And the flag we're going to choose. We're going to choose my favorite flag, the best flag. Nope, it's not Bhutan, although that is a nice flag. It's Canada. Yeah, I'm Canadian, if you haven't figured it out. So, let's play this thing. Uh, yes, overwrite. Tried recording several times. And let's hope that this is the time that works. <laughs> First time recording this game, took a little bit of uh, reconfiguring of the machine to be able to do it. But we're hopefully up and running here. So lots of different buildings all around the base here, but we're going to start in the vehicle assembly building because what do we want to do? Well, we just want to launch something. I'm not going to say into orbit because that's probably wishing for a lot. Uh, we're going to start with this kind of mercury style capsule. We're going to make a rocket. Well, let's take this and this and this. Uh, heck, one more. And this. And let's see if that does anything. Uh, before we do, though, <laughs> let's uh, put a parachute on. Probably want to, you know, have our Kerbal survive. And let's give it uh, an antenna as well. None of this on docks or anything, so this will be interesting when we come down, but uh, let's see. What do we want to call it? Let's call it uh, Kerbury 1. All right. Launch. Lunch time. Launch time. Whatever. It's... Come on. Loading. I hear loudness. Hopefully that's a good sign. So first of all, we're going to hit T to turn on SAS, because <clears throat> I don't want the damn thing to go all sideways on me. And I'm probably going to split up the staging so that when I light the rocket, it doesn't deploy the parachutes. Because <laughs> that would be a bad thing. So, ready? Uh, throttle up and go. So, so far, we've, we've got positive acceleration here, so that's good. I don't, really don't know what much we're going to accomplish here, but... Uh, <laughs> Jebediah over in the corner there, he's having a blast. I do a crew report on him. Kerbin Shores. We're going to take some science back with us. So, honestly, there's not much that's going to happen with this flight. Uh, it's very basic rocket, nothing real fancy. Um, I'm just going to start banking over real quick to see if we can maybe get a couple more biomes in uh, from crew reports here. But, I mean, don't expect much out of this rocket, honestly. <laughs> this thing is probably weaker than the original Mercury uh, rockets, and it's not really going to go far. Honestly, we're going to land within visual range of this this uh, this flight center. We are going fast, though. I mean, we're just pushing the atmospheric boundary. Oh, and there we go. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Kerbin's upper atmosphere. All right, let's send back some science. Freaking awesome. 100% sent back. So let's take a look at the map here. What did we do? We did get up to a apoapsis of 40, 40 kilometers. So that's, uh, it's, it's falling because, you know, we're in, still in the atmosphere. But, I mean, that's not bad for a first, uh, for a first flight. I'm going to try something stupid here. We're going to do an EVA. And I'm going to do an EVA report, which I'm going to store. It's a really bad idea to do that <laughs> when you're in the atmosphere, because as you can see, you can kind of get ripped off your own ship. Uh, luckily, though, um, it worked out okay. And I got some extra science out of that, hopefully, uh, when I send that back in. Uh, upper atmosphere, still nothing, but uh, wow. <laughs> so there's not much to do other than wait for us to come back down to Earth here. Or Kerbal, or you know, whatever. I love I love the details on on this on this kind of on on like the rockets and stuff like that. It's feels really cool. Now 
obviously, since we don't have any stack separation here, you know, if this was a real spacecraft, you wouldn't want to be doing this. You'd want to have the heat shield out. But, you know, luckily they don't have aerodynamics properly implemented in the game at this point. So we can just come back down to the atmosphere and it really is not going to hurt anything. So let's see that happen here. <laughs> I like that you get the little uh, videos in the corner here of the the uh, the pilot. Jebediah is having a blast. Top right, you can see the resources. Uh, my electrical charge is pretty spent because I sent the science back. Uh, obviously, we're out of everything. Got a lot of monopropellant. No RTS control to speak of, but, you know, if we had it. That's what I like in the new version here. They've got uh, monopropellant right in the capsule. So once you get those little incidental, those little one-direction RCS tank or rcs jets you can build them right onto the capsule and don't have to have a any kind of rcs fuel tank so it, it's kind of in terms of creating a um a re-entry capsule that you can actually control a little bit it's it's pretty nice um i think i'll be using that little tiny rcs tank for many things in the future but uh right now there's really not much use for it uh we see we're back we're back into heavy atmosphere here um Oh, yep, and there's the acceleration effects. You can see them, little bits of red flash as the atmosphere. We're coming down at a pretty shallow angle, though, so it's, and we're going pretty slow, so not really that much. And, you know, within a, within a few seconds here. Uh, let's see if we can do another crew report. Uh, crew report. Uh, no, uh, review. Let's transmit. Because you can get, for crew reports, you can still get a hunt. Oh, no. Uh-oh. That was, a, that was a bad idea, guys. <laughs> uh, crew report. Yeah, overwrite it. Whatever. I think it was the zero one that overwritten before. Anyway, we're going to keep that. Hopefully, I haven't lost the uh, the EVA report by not transmitting it properly. Um, can I retract? Stop transmitting. No, I think I lost that report. And we're... We're pretty low here. I'm going to deploy the parachute. <laughs> Look at that. Lovely parachute. And I think we're going to come down safely. I'm going to guess probably the rocket's going to explode and detach all of the uh, tanks. Just because you know, we're landing on water and these, these things aren't really designed to <laughs> come back down to the planet. So you can see our shadow there. We're just about done here. I won't, I won't show too many other landings because that'll get old real quick. But for those who haven't played before, this is what it looks like. So pretty soon we're going to splash down here. Take a look as things fall off. Yep. <laughs> Basically, the whole rocket exploded underneath. <laughs> and we're at stable too. Uh, so that's, that's about it. Uh, recover vessel. And hopefully we have the science available to unlock, you know, maybe some decent parts to, you know, play a little bit better. Uh, five. See, we didn't, because I half transmitted the EVA report, we didn't get the whole value out of it. So that's kind of a shame. But we did get, we do have 15 science. So let's see if there's, there's something we can unlock, right? Five science. Awesome. So that'll give us a bigger tank, smaller tank, the goo cans, which are part of the science tree. And the stack decoupler, which is very, very useful. So research. And now we've unlocked other stuff. I don't think we can afford any of it right now. Nope. So let's go do another let's go do another launch. Now that we have the proper tools, let's 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 revamp our Kerbury thing a little bit. I'm gonna take the whole rocket apart and call this Kerbury 2. And what are we going to do? We're going to go to propulsion. We are going to add some larger... Oh, before we do that. Structural. Stack decouplers! Hooray! And we're going to move the antenna from the capsule onto the body of the spacecraft because... Because oh, honestly, we don't, we don't want this on the capsule when we re-enter. I'll put it on the... I'll put it on the decoupler. That way it'll fly off and be all interesting and stuff. So, what do we want to do here? Um, we want some more tanks, obviously. I'm going to overbuild this. Now, that by itself is probably not a good idea. Um, 
I'm not sure if it'll be able to support anything. So I'm going to add, uh, can we do this in six? Yeah, I'm going to add, there we go. I'm going to add some, uh, some, what are they called? Girder segments. There we go. A and fuel boosters. So now we'll hopefully get a little bit of a kick when we start off here. And what else we got? Oh, goo, goo cans. Uh, I'm only, only going to put two on here because honestly, I don't really think we're going to we're going to go that far. <laughs> um, nah, sure, I'll put another couple on just to just to be safe. See how it goes. Um, now you can collect the science out of these um, with an EVA. So. Yeah, I don't need four. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you transmit the science back, you don't get nearly the value as if you grab them on an EVA. So we're going we're gonna to grab them before we re-enter the atmosphere. So with those changes to our rocket, let's do another launch here. I'm not sure if what that static is. Is that the wind or I don't know. Anyway, this thing is pretty unstable. We don't have any support brackets. So let's just launch. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Something went, oh no, look, we've lost, <laughs> uh, we lost our, uh, I let it sit too long. Um, we lost our, uh, it, it wiggled enough that we lost our engine. So I'm just going to launch as soon as we're ready to go here. See, now we have our engine. <laughs> Seriously, one of the first pieces of science I want to unlock is the ability to, um, to do the, uh, what's it called, the, the, the control tower thing, so that way you don't have to, oh my god, this is hard to control. What is that? I don't know what that is. Anyway, uh, this is hard to control. These boosters are hella unstable. There we go. Okay. Now that those boosters are gone, we're got a little bit more control here. <laughs> wow. Uh. So I don't know, really, I mean, there, there's our ultimate target there, the moon, um, in terms of a first stage space program, but uh, right now I'd just be happy to see us get into some kind of orbit. Um, I think I've really pooched our, our setup here, though, so I don't think we're going to get very far at all. I'm, try I'm, I'm desperately trying to bank up here, but it's just not going. Uh, it's not a gimbling engine, so... Oh, God. Oh, no. I don't know what's going on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me some control. Please. Oh, this is bad. Is, what is that? Is that a runway? or What is that? I don't know. Anyway, um... Here, uh, do a crew report. Because this is gonna... Nope, nothing. Uh... Mystery goo? I don't know. Um, I think we're just going to send it because cause we're about to crash into the ocean here. <laughs> Let's do another one. Can we do another one? Point two. Uh, I'll keep the data. I guess I didn't really have to transmit it because, you know, we're going to we're gonna recover here. Oh, no, but I can't. I can't EVA to recover it. But this is, this is really bad, isn't it? Um, I should have really built an abort system, but, you know. Whatever, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've detached from that thing. Let's, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so, um, that is an air, that's like a freaking airport over there or something, isn't it? Can we see, what is that? Oh, look at that. I didn't even know that was there. Look at that. That's a little airport right there. Huh. Sorry. I Too jittery with the <laughs> SAS on. That is interesting. I did not know that was there. We're going to have to get a space plane and fly over there. But for now, we'll just be happy to have the recovery of our, of our Kerbal Knot. We had a successful failure. You know, in the in the words of the Apollo 13 mission, the successful failure in that we uh, 
we have returned our crew safely, but failed to uh, complete our objectives. So let's uh, let's splash down here, and hopefully, uh, can I do another crew report real quick? Nope, completely worthless. So let's just splash down and recover our vessel. <sighs> Low sigh. <laughs> Oh, well, that's how it goes. Sometimes you have a nice, brilliant launch. Sometimes you completely futz it up. So, yeah, we got... Didn't get enough science to unlock anything. So, yeah. I think... Yeah, 15 science, and we have 13 science, so... Oh, well. I think we'll have to uh, revise our, sh our ship design, which apparently didn't work at all. And, uh, and give it another shot, but, uh, we'll do that next time. Uh, if you, if you like what you see with this video, please like, and subscribe and blah, 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 blah. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.